Green Label. I'm Hari from IAC's 2018 IT team, and today we are to explain a technique that we use in MATLAB extensively. We call it the pliers. It's a technique that we use to identify back area fields tighter. And what we found is this technique works. Our technique works for three different strains of bacteria for the T4 bacteria field. So let's get into why exactly we need this pliers. When you apply a bacteriophage sample, it isn't always known how virulent the viruses are in your solution. So, we need an assay to figure out exactly how many active virus particles there are in your bacteriophage sample. For that, we have a plaque assay. Uh, we also found in our experience, you need to do this assay periodically, say in 2-3 to three months time, for your solution. As due to a variety of reasons involving natural degradation, the titers of your bacteria pages tend to reduce over time, even if stored in safe conditions. What we're presenting here is a protocol that we use to do the practicing. And for this, what we need is a bacterial strain of your choice. Whichever bacterial strain you use with your viruses, you need that. You need a primary inoculum of it prepared overnight from the street plate. And um, you need a secondary inoculum that was made using say a one person solution of that, that's what we use and lower to 0.6 OD which it should achieve in around one, one and a half hours so that is the final bacterial sample that you'll be using uh, next, you need LB agar plates uh, depending on how many serial dilutions you use you need that many LB agar plates you need top agar the preparation of this is identical to how you prepare normal agar but you need to use only 0.7% of your agar as opposed to the normal percentage that you use to prepare agar plates. You need your bacteria page, or whichever bacteria page you have, and whichever one you need to check the title of. What we use was bacteria page T4 in all our samples. I'll give you a quick outline of the procedure that we use to perform the practice. Um, in a 10 ml tube, what you need to have is 50 microliters of the secondary inoculum growth to 0.6 protein. 50 microliters of the bacteria page T4 solution, which is normally suspended in SN gelatin because that's where it's most stable. And we need to add 2.15 ml of 0.7% top agar. We recommend heating the top agar to about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius prior to performing the experiment because at lower temperatures it simply solidifies and you won't be able to spread it even your own nature. So, post this, have your top agar plate ready, keep it open. And pour this, pour the contents of your tube onto it while rotating gently so as to cover the entire surface. Now I'll pass it on to my lab mate Devu so that he can explain further on how the protocol is actually done in here. Thank you. Hello, I am Devu. Previously, had explained the protocol of black assay. Now I will show you how to do it. First, I will explain the serial dilution. In our experiment, we did 10 serial dilution at each time. We we did it 10 times, 10 times less the previous con concentration. So this is our concentrated bacteria of T4. We take 1 ml of this and put into a pen drop. And then to dilute it, we will add 900 ml of SN gelatin and 100 ml of that previous bacteria of So, now I am taking 100 ml of this thing. and 900 ml of SN So now this one is 10 times diluted from the previous one. Now we have bacteria here, E. coli strain and we made all the 10 serial dilution. As Hari explained, now we will add 50 ml of Bacteriophage in this 10 ml tube and 50 ml of bacteria and now we will incubate this thing in 37 degrees for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes of incubation we have to plate this thing with 0.7% top agar in this LV plate. This is our top agar. Now, we have to add 2.15 ml of top agar in this kit.
now we have to go over the whole thing into this LV plate and spread this thing uniformly. Now we have to wait for 2 3 minutes to fridge that copper guard. Now we can see the copper guard has been frozen. So we have to keep this thing upside down inside the incubator for 18 hours. After 18 hours, the flux will appear.